Hey guys, it's me, Emojing, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing something very different, very excited for it. We're doing an Overwatch tier list, yeah, Overwatch 2 tier list. We're going to be ranking the different heroes in the game. So, if we transition, there you go. So, you have all the heroes here currently, so everything that's in Overwatch 2. What, from Overwatch 1 and then obviously the newer ones from Overwatch 2 and someone that isn't actually in the game yet so I, have, I haven't actually seen any of the gameplay of but you know we're gonna rank them we've got superior because obviously the best and we have amazing so less superior then we've got basic bitches then we've got pretty crap and then you've got dog shit dog shit is the worst of the worst okay so if you don't know Overwatch 2 or Overwatch in general, it's basically a PvP game where you either push a payload or push points, try and capture points, and you try and just win the game in general. Um, so you obviously have your heroes. I'm gonna, I'm, I know all the heroes' names, so it's good. I will be able to tell you the names. I'll give you some footage uh, showing them off, I guess, if I can. If I can find any good footage. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Let's just get into it. So, we're starting off. We've got Soldier 69. <laughs> um, yeah, he's pretty good. I wouldn't say he's superior, but I'd, I'll, I'll, put him, I'll put him in Amazing. Because I do like I do like Soldier. Um, I play him quite a bit compared to the others. Uh, yeah, I do like Soldier. He's able to heal himself with his little healing pot. Uh, he can run. He's 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 really he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's not superior, but maybe I'll move him down to basic bitch because I do play him a lot. But it's because you don't really need that much skill to play him. He's the person that you play when you um start the tutorial. So it's who you learn at first, I suppose. So, I'm just going to put him in basic bitch, despite how much I do love Soldier. Next we have Tracer. Hmm, where are we going to put Tracer? I do like Tracer, but she, her health. I don't like her health. She gets hooked by Roadhog, gets fucking one shot. So, I'm going to have to put her in pretty crap. I do like the fact that she can reverse and heal, her, heal herself, but she ain't for me. She ain't me. She ain't a bit of me, you know. I do like her, but she ain't a bit of me. Widow. I can't play her, so... Widow's got a sniper. She can change it to an AR. Maybe I'll put her in pretty crap. So, but, ah, people are going to rinse me for this. But I just don't like... I don't usually play damage. I'll either play tank or support. So, um... I'll just put her there for now. She's a sniper. She can change it to a sort of rapid fire AR sort of thing. Um, she's got a little um, poison thing that if you get it, you can see her. Her ult's okay. You can see through the map. I guess that's the only good thing she's for, but yeah, I'm going to put her in pretty crap for now. Reaper. Reaper. Where will I put Reaper? I don't like playing Reaper, but he's a decent character. He's got good maneuverability. Um, hmm. Hmm. Put him in basic bitch for now. I'm going to move it about when I've got it all in my head and I've got some things I'd down. Genji. Fuck Genji. Just fuck him. I don't I don't like playing him. I don't like playing with any Genjis. Especially when playing support. I need healing. All that shit. It's constant. It's constant. I can't play Genji for shit. Fuck Genji. I don't like you. Your ult is okay when you can get it off. And if someone who's playing you knows how to play you. Um, Hanzo. Put him in basic bitch. Everyone fucking plays him. Same with Widow. But at the same time, I can somewhat play Hanzo compared to Widow. So I'd rather play Hanzo than Widow. His ult's pretty cool. Especially when it's on the um, wolf skin. Because it changes from dragons to wolves. I like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can stay in basic bitch. Um, McCree, McCree. I'll have to put him in basic bitch as well. Uh, I preferred him... Well, it's not McCree anymore, it's Cassidy, but... Oh well. Um... 
yeah, I'll put him in basic bitch. I like his role. He has good maneuverability as well. Um, I don't like it was. I don't like the fact that all the stuns and things have gone. Sure, it was annoying at the time, but at the same time, it just uh, it allowed for better pacing of games, I suppose, in my opinion. Uh, because like, if something was coming at you, you could just like fucking stun something, stun, stun the person coming towards you. They would not be able to move. But and then obviously he had his combo, so you'd be stunned. You sh fucking uh, the barrel thing where you fucking do all the shots. I don't know the fucking name of it. I don't play McCree. I don't play damage. But uh, when you do play McCree, I'm gonna call him McCree because that's what I know him as. But it is Cassidy, so I don't know. But he had his good combo and it worked. And now it's just a fucking sticky bomb, which does my head in. But yeah, you can stay in basic bitch. Bastion. So, obviously, in Overwatch 1, he had his turret form, which you stood in one place, you could heal, and it would be constant shots going through. Um, I did like playing Bastion, but that's because he was just fucking annoying. Uh, now, I can't play him. I'm really shit with Bastion. So, I'm going to have to put him in pretty crap. Actually, I'm going to just put him in dog shit. I don't like Bastion anymore. Sure, his ult's good. I do like his ult. Let's. Uh, I'll put him in pretty crap. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll put him in pretty crap. Cause I don't. I don't play him anymore. Um, Torbjorn. Hmm. Torbjorn. 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 Basic bitch. I'm gonna put him in basic bitch. Reason being. Um. In my opinion, he's only good for um. <laughs> Junkenstein's revenge. <laughs> in my opinion, that's the only time I'll play him. Um. But I do like playing him. His ult's pretty good. I'm actually going to... No, I'll move him up to here. Because I like his ult. Because it gets decent spread. Constant damage when he ults. Um, he, when, his, when he does have his turret, he's... Uh, he was good. Uh, I preferred it in a, uh, the older updates of Overwatch 1. Where you could upgrade it to level 3. Well, you could upgrade it to level 2. And then upgrade it to level 3. And it was fucking insane. But it doesn't bother me that you can't do that anymore. Um, because I do like his new ult. So, um, yeah, he, he can go there. Um, Junkrat, Junkrat, Junkrat. Now, I used to play Junkrat a lot, especially in um, Free For All. So, he's going there. The only reason I'm putting him there is because of that reason. He was, like, when I used to play him, he used to be so good. Um, constant damage with the bombs. I like the fact that you can get a martyrdom sort of thing when you die, he drops all his bombs, it explodes, it does damage, and if they're on really low damage, if you've gotten them down to a decent amount of health, they'll pretty much just fucking die as soon as you've got them, so brilliant. Um, Junkrat's superior. Junkrat is fucking amazing, so I do like Junkrat. Farah, Farah, Farah. Hmm. What will we do with you? I like your maneuverability. I do like her maneuverability. Her ult's pretty good. It can be fucking annoying when you get slipped by an Anna, though. So, what do we do with you? Might have to put you in basic bitch, but... No, I'll put... Yeah. I'll put her there. I might... Yeah, I'll put the junk rat in front of the tour book there. Um, I like how it's looking at the moment. Uh, Farah. Only reason I'm putting her there, it's because... If you don't have, like, a mercy on you, you're pretty much just fucking dead to the Widow or Hanzo. The maneuverability is okay. Oh, excuse me, I'm really... But a bit... Oh, excuse me. Maneuverability is okay. I do like a maneuverability. It's just... You can get one-tapped so easily playing Pharaoh. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. But, yeah. Uh, Symmetra. Symmetra? Hmm, I haven't played you in a while. I do like playing Symmetra. Uh, but I wouldn't say she's amazing. Ooh, put her there. Uh, Symmetra with her turrets. I do like her. Um, turrets get destroyed really fucking quickly, though, if you don't know where to put them. And the reload on her on that is kind of annoying. Um, but, like, with the past... Uh, in Overwatch 1, her ult used to be her teleporter, so glad that was changed, so it makes life so much easier just being able to put the portal down at the beginning, go 
through the portal to get further in to just help your teammates. And um, uh, I like her barrier. I do like her barrier. Actually, just for defense, I think I might actually put her in amazing just because of her barrier. I do like her barrier a lot. Yeah. Uh, Sombra. Fucking fuck Sombra, man. Oh, I hate Sombra. Sure, she's fun to play, but fuck me, she's annoying to play against. Fucking. Mmm. I'll put her in pretty crap. The only reason being, yeah, she can be fun to play, but to play against her, uh, to be fucking, like, her cooldown for a hack is fucking annoying. Like, you'll be hacked every, like, I can't remember what the cooldown is, about five seconds or something. Maybe slightly lower. But it's fucking constant. And then, when your entire team gets hacked, you lose, you, you lose your ability to do everything for about one second. And then you can do stuff, but I don't like Sombra. Not anymore. I never did, to be honest. She was just fucking annoying. Now, Ash. Mm, Ash, I do love Ash. Does she get superior, though? Mm, 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 mm. Yes, she does. Ash is top tier. So good. Right. I know she has her sniping, but I prefer her to Widow. So, I sound like a prat, but I don't care. Ash Mm, chef's kiss to that. Uh, Bob, fucking brilliant. Oh, love Bob. Uh, her bomb that does the fire damage. Mm, mm, mm. And then you can shoot it and it explodes without having to wait for everything to be. But oh, it's just Ash is the fucking perfect character. Fucking perfect. I do love Ash. Um, Echo. Um, Echo's gonna get amazing. I like her maneuverability as well. Um, and I like playing her. I enjoy playing her. I enjoy playing her more than fucking Torbjorn and Symmetra. Um, but playing Echo, you can. Her maneuverability is brilliant, also. I must say, her maneuverability is awesome. Um,. Being able to just shoot up into the sky like Farah, but her skill set is so much different. She has so much more she can do with the um, like the sticky bombs, and obviously her normal shot. It's like a three sort of fucking shot. I don't know what it's called, but it's three shots, and then she got sticky bombs. And when they're at really low health, get your fucking laser out, fucking blast them. Brilliant. I have so much fun with her, and her ult is. It's okay if you get a decent character. Say, if you get uh, Diva, her ult is pretty good for it when you're playing Echo. A lot of the ults are pretty good. If you're playing with like a Diva or a Zarya, especially, yeah. And oh, that would be just. I do like Echo. Echo is such a cool character. Right, Doomfist went from damage to tank uh, from Overwatch 1. So he was damaged in Overwatch 1 and then became a tank in Overwatch 2. I don't like him. He became worse. Absolute fucking dog shit. Doomfist is awful. Um, May, my queen. Oh, she was so good in Overwatch 1 and she could freeze people and people get so fucking annoyed at you. But uh, the fact she can't freeze anymore... I do like her, but she's not as good as she used to be. So I'll just put her at the bottom of basic bitch. She's not as good as she used to be when you were able to freeze people. Like, freezing people, icicle. Like, icicles constantly to the head. Headshots constantly. Mmm, mmm. Chef's kiss. But now it's just freeze. Please freeze. They don't freeze. The only time they'll freeze is in her ult. And it just sucks. I miss old May. Bring back old May. Um, yeah, that's what I've got to say about that. Diva. She's going to have to be amazing. I'm not putting her in superior. I don't think she deserves superior, in my opinion. But Diva is good. I like her ult. Um, I like her boost. Her boost is very nice. Um, her, her sort of absorb with the bullet shield. That's good. That's so nice. She's got good defense. And Baby Diva, when she hops out, it's easy to gain ult. So when you pull out the mech again, mm, 
so good. But she's not deserving of superior, I don't think. Not not right now. Not anymore. She was good back then, when you knew how to play her, when I knew how to play her, but I don't know how to play her anymore. Uh, I'm usually just <laughs> being an idiot, and I usually take D.Va around, fucking fly around, accidentally fall off the map, try and get my boost back, and then just die. So, <laughs> yeah, in my opinion, unfortunately, D.Va, you're not getting superior. Unfortunately. However, Roadhog is not getting it either. Um, only reason being... Um, where am I going to put him, though? The only reason being is, uh, no, you, you'll get amazing. I do like playing Roadhog. Um, I like his ult. I like his ult more than Divas. Uh, with the knockback, pushing him away, getting him on off points. Just fun. Roadhog's fun. But he's more fun than Diva, in my opinion. Uh, with the hook, when you get a good hook in, uh, and then you get the headshot, one shots him. Mwah, chef's kiss. But. Every time you miss, you just get pissed off and you don't want to play the character again for the next two weeks. Oh, two weeks. So, that's why he's fucking going in amazing. I'm sorry, Roadhog. Reinhardt, I, I don't like playing him. I don't know how to play him, so unfortunately he's going in pretty crap. But, with his shield, I'll give him the easiest good shield tank. Um... I would put him in basic bitch, but I don't know how to play him, so I'm going to play him pretty crap. I know he's probably he's pretty simple. He's got a good ult. I'll put him in basic bitch. He's got a good ult. Just for, so because of his ult, I'll just put him in basic bitch. But I don't know how to play him. So, yeah, he's going in basic bitch. I'm sorry. <sighs> Hammond. Hammond. What do we do with Hammond? Or Wrecking Ball, as he's also known as. Um... I don't know how to play him either, really. I'll put him in basic bitch with Reinhardt. Only reason being, I don't, I can never get hold of like swinging round, going launching myself into the air, s crashing back down with uh, control, the slam down. I can't do it. I can never get hold of it. And when I do get hold of it, I'm hyped, but at the same time, it's like, oh, do I really want to do this again just to go through the like trauma in my own head? It's, it's annoying. So. Sorry, Hammond, you go there. Arisa. Um, I like her ult now. Her ult's fun. I uh, preferred her old ult. And I preferred when she was a shield tank. Um, what do we do with Arisa? I wouldn't say she's amazing or superior. I'm going to have to put her in basic bitch. But I'll put her um, here. I do like playing Arisa. She's fun. But... Ah, she's fucking... When getting hold of her the first time, it was, it's so hard to get used to. But w with her ult, she spins her javelin round now. She's got a javelin. She's got a nice um, sort of stun thing where she throws a javelin and pins him against the wall. It stuns him for a little bit, I think, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Arisa, I'm sorry, you're going to have to go in basic, bitch. Right. Okay. So, Sigma. Superior tank. I don't care what you're saying. I love Sigma. Sigma is so fun to play. The geometry, his big rock, oh, his shield, and then absorbing all the bullets, gaining more health. Oh, Mwah. chef's kiss yet again. Sigma and Ash are superior fucking characters. Superior champs. I love them. The best. The best. Um. And he's a good shield tank as well. Uh, much more manoeuvrability with his uh, shield. You can, like, if his pharaohs up, you can put your shield up and then d attack anyone on the ground. Say a tracer comes at you, throw rock at them, go with your little balls. Mm, so good. So good. Um, Zarya. I can't play her. So, I guess her ult's good. I'll probably have to bring her up because of her ult. Yeah, I'll bring her up because of her ult. But I can't play her. I like her ult because it brings everyone together. Say, and then a diva comes in, drops the bomb, ults them, fucks them all. Brilliant. Great teamwork. But you can't do that anymore because there's not fucking. You're not allowed to t tanks in comp anymore or normal games. So you can only do it in like. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. 
free roll or some shit. I can't remember. But you can't double tank anymore, which sucks. But I guess it's allowed people to, I don't know, get better with the tanks they play. Like, playing Sigma in comp now is... I like playing Sigma so much in comp. But yeah. Winston. Hmm. What do we do with you? He's good for crowd control. Um, his shield's pretty weak. Um, he's good for car... I do like his secondary fire on his Tesla coil now, though. Ooh, I'll have to... I'm putting Winston in amazing, but t bottom of amazing, just because his shield is so weak. Um, but yeah, I do like playing Winston. He's really fun, and when you do play him, he, yeah, he's so fun. he is so fun. Um, mercy, 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 superior. No matter what, mercy will always be superior because of her res, her healing, and a damage boost. Those are some of the best. Fucking, it's so good when you have a Mercy on your team. And I enjoy playing Mercy. Like, with the damage boost and the healing. I enjoy getting the decent healing in. And despite her being mainly healing, her gun does a decent amount of damage for a support. So, that's why she's she's good. And if you have decent aim, you know what you're doing with a, a Mercy. And that's why she'll always be superior. And her res, she gets good res off. Right, say you got a decent, um, uh, uh, let's think of a character, why can't I? Say you've got, um, right, why can't I think? Say you got, okay, your tank's died, your tank's immediately just fucking dropped. Say it's Sigma, right? Your Mercy gets that resin, and you're like, right at the end, you've won the game. It's so good, I love Mercy. Uh, Lucio. He's a good healer, but he's kind of dropped off, to be honest. Ooh, he's good for crowd control. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Lucy. I don't. I don't vibe with you, my guy. You're pretty crap. His oh ah, oh, but his oh is good. Hmm. I'll put him in basic. I'll put him between May and Reinhardt. Just because his ult. His ult is good. I will admit that. His ult is good. Uh, with, well, his ult obviously gives you more health. So, makes you tankier. Especially the tanks. Tanks get fucking hella chunky. Um, Zenyatta. <sighs> My fucking... Right, okay. So, Zenyatta. My main. I used to play him so much, I had hours on end playing him on PlayStation. But I can't play him on PC. <laughs> I'm not good at playing Zen on PC anymore. Um, so unfortunately, Zen, I'm sorry, but your healing's awful. Especially when I'm playing you. And the only good thing you are is, like, giving people, like, breaking down someone's fucking health with your di or the Discord. I'm sorry, but... I'm not feeling you anymore. I'm sorry, man. Anna. Anna, Anna, Anna. Everyone plays her, but she is pretty good. She is amazing. Her sleep, her healing's alright, and then her ult, the power-up. Oof. Get that on a good Sigma ult, or a good fucking... A good Winston. That fucks everyone. Oof. Very nice. Moira. Now, this is going to be... This is going to be... What's the word? I don't know. I can't think of the word. But... Moira, in my opinion, is superior. Only only because, only because. Let hear me out. When I play her... Yes, I know you're not supposed to have, like, crazy damage. <laughs> um, but when you have a good Moira, like myself, I'm... Yeah, I'm tooting my own horn. When you're playing... When I play Moira, I've got decent damage and my healing is insane. I am fucking incredible with Moira. I love Moira so much. She's so fun to play. And her ult, Coalescence, when you get it going through your teammates and the enemies. Ooh! Ooh! 
crazy shit. Brigitte. I don't like Brigitte. I never have done and I never will do. So, I don't like sh the fact she has a shield. Sure, it's okay when you're playing with... Say you've got a Moira and a Brigitte or a Moira and a, no, a Brigitte and a Mercy. Sure, she's okay. But I don't like her. I've never played her that much. And when I have, I just don't enjoy her. She's not a fun character in my opinion. Um, Baptiste. Basic bitch. I'm sorry. Uh, he, he can go between Lucio and May. I, <sighs> Baptiste. He, he's, he's okay. His kit's okay. He's got the immortality field. That fucking gets deleted immediately if it gets put up. Um, his healing's alright. Um, and then he's got his field, which I can't remember what it does. I think it deletes or it increases damage done by your team when you shoot through it. I can't remember. But he's just... He's okay. He's okay. Sojourn. Hmm. Basic bitch. Everyone's playing her. I don't like her. Uh, her, ra her rail gun's alright. But she's okay. Junker Queen. Hmm. I do like Junker Queen. I do like Junker Queen. I'll put her in Amazing. At the bottom of Amazing. Only being because I like the damage she does over time. I like that she's... It's another sort of... You've got another sort of melee aspect to it. You don't see many melee um, champs. The only melee champs you have are uh, Reinhardt, Brigitte, um Torbjorn, kind of. But everything else is projectiles. So, I like her knife. I like her hammer. Is it a hammer? I think it's a hammer. But I really like Junker Queen. And her voice acting is fucking gorgeous. Uh, Kariko. Another su support. And it's a character I've named my dog after. That I'm guessing. So, I'll put a picture up of her. She's cute. She's adorable. She's my baby. But Kiriko, I do like her. Uh, her ult's very cool. It allows you to speed up your projectiles when you're shooting. It's so fun playing, playing Kiriko. She's so fun. And Ramatra, I believe his name is? I don't think he's out yet. He's coming out season two. I think I've seen some of him. He looks interesting. But for now, I can't put my opinion on it. So I'm actually going to... Oh, shit. Fuck. I'm going to add a new row. And it's going to be... I need to call it something. Not out yet. There we go. So Ramatra is not out yet. But his skill set looks cool. His his kit looks good. But let's change the colour of that. Yeah. It's, oh shit, I can't fucking see it. Yeah. But yeah. So that... My dear lovelies, is my tier list of the Overwatch 2 characters. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I genuinely... I had fun doing this. Uh, let me know if you want to see me do any other tier lists on the channel. And if you do, just comment it down below. Comment what sort of tier list you want. Uh, maybe some nausea fucking animals or something. I'll do it. It'll be fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you did, like I said, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.